x minus 4 or to the power of 4 is equals to x to the power of 4 how do we solve this cortic equation without further delay let's begin the solution let's consider this left hand side this could be written as x minus 4 all square so we're gonna put it in brackets times 2 equals likewise this right hand side we can write it as s square times 2 now let's bring this guy to this left hand side so we're gonna have x minus 4 all square times 2 minus s square all square which is equals to 0 now recall that whenever we have a square minus b square this is the same thing as writing a plus b times a minus b that is a difference of two square we are going to apply these properties to this guy so in this case our value of a is this x minus 4 all square and our value of b is simply s square so applying these properties to this guy we're gonna have what is a a is simply s minus 4 all square so we're gonna have x minus 4 all square plus what is b b is simply s square times what is a a is x minus 4 all square minus what is b that is simply s square which is equals to zero so this implies x minus 4 all square when you expand this guy very well you get s square minus 8x plus 16 plus s square times this guy which is x square minus 8x plus 16 minus s square which is equals to zero this implies s square plus s square that is 2s square minus 8x plus 16 put that in brackets times s square minus s square vanish so we are left with 16 minus 8x which is equals to zero so this implies that 2s square minus 8x plus 16 is equal to 0 or 16 minus 8x equals to 0. We can reduce this quadratic equation by 2 so we get x square minus 4x plus 8 equals 0 or 16 minus 8x equals to 0. This linear equation is easily solved so we get 16 is equals to 8x divided both sides by so we get x equals to 2. So this is one solution. Now let's consider this guy. You will observe that this quadratic equation is not factorizable. So we can either use quadratic formula or a completing the square. So let's use the completing the square to solve this. This implies that x square minus 4x is equal to when this guy goes to the right, we have minus 8. So this implies x square minus 4x. Now we are going to add half of the coefficient of x and at the same time square it to both sides. So we obtain plus minus 4 over 2 all square equals minus 8 plus minus 4 over 2 all square. This implies, so let's combine these two guys. So we're going to have x minus 4 over 2 all square equals minus 8 plus minus 4 over 2 that is simply minus 2 all square. This implies that we have x minus 4 divided by 2 that is 2 all squared equals minus 8 plus minus 2 all squared that is simply 4. So this implies that we have x minus 2 all squared equals minus 8 plus 4 that is simply negative 4. When we take the square root of both sides we get x minus 2 equals square root of minus 4. Don't forget we're gonna have plus or minus sign here. So now this implies that we have x to be equals when this guy comes to the right we have 2 plus or minus square root of negative 4. Note that square root of negative 4 is the same thing as square root of negative 1 times square root of 4. So this equals square root of negative 1 is simply i that is the complex number and square root of 4 that is just 2. So we are going to replace square root of negative 4 with this guy so this implies that our value of x equals to 2 plus or minus 2i which is the second solution that is the value of x equals to 2 which is the first solution and we have 2 plus 2i and 2 minus 2i 
so these are the required solution for this cortic equations so that's it thanks for watching